and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Draven Swain. This deck is going big and it's all about striking. <laughs> I hope y'all like doing those two things. So we have, um, we're going to be in, we're going to be uh, doing a lot of fighting. So we got single combat and whirling death and concerted strike. So the, the full three copies of all three of those. So we're going to want to be in combat um, and just using these good um, spells, especially like how Whirling Death's probably an underrated spell to have in combat. Um, we also even have Culling Strike, <laughs> as far as striking goes. It's a little different. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so as far as being in combat, we want to have Overwhelm, right? So like if we if we have like a Bacillus Rider with Overwhelm, or maybe we have a Radiant Guardian, a Screeching Dragon, a Swain, we can give those Overwhelm with Might. And if we have them with Overwhelm, then the Whirling Death um, we'll get rid of a blocker and we'll still have the damage go on over to them. But of course we have like the Leviathan Swain combo. Um, Screeching Dragon with the Fury is great to kill things and continually grow. Radiant Guardian plays our defense and can also be a tough thing to kill. Pun intended there. Now we Bacillus Rider, this is going to be a little tough getting this one and getting the Allegiance because we do have 12 Demacia cards in here. But we can help out Bacillus Grider a little bit with Draven's Biggest Fan with this little combo. Like, So we can play Draven's Biggest Fan, put Draven on top of our deck, and then play Bacillus Grider, and then we know that we're going to hit the Allegiance with the Draven. So that's a little uh, way that we can help our Bacillus Grider. We also got Arena Bookies in here. Arena Bookies is amazing with the Spinning Axe from Draven to be able to just keep discarding that and finding new cards. That's going to be our main use for this. But then otherwise... You know, we can kind of filter through our decks and find the interaction or units that we need. So this is a, this deck's a little different. This one's kind of interesting. Let's let's play this. I feel like we have a lot of cards that are going to play better than maybe what like the deck list looks from just looking at it. But like when you actually get to the games, like the cards will play uh, pretty well, if that makes sense. So. Um, yeah, let's try this out. We're going to play some Draven Swain. And as far as leveling up Swain, we're going to be able to level up Swain super fast with all of our um, single combats, concerted strikes, all that kind of stuff. That's all going to do damage. And we'll level it up real fast. Okay, well, we're going to keep all of these... No, Mulligan Swain. Mulligan Swain, too. So this will put Draven on top. And then we'll have Arena Bookie on turn two, which is going to pair great with Draven. To start with, we'll just discard the Elixir of Wrath and get a new card, and that's that's perfectly fine with me. We'll get a new one there. But then we'll play Draven on turn three. We'll get the Spinning Axe. Ooh, wow. They got Dredge Dredgers. That's an amazing... That's the... That's the best card to possibly get with the Stalking Shadows. That was pretty great. Right, I do like the Culling Strike. Because that's going to uh, be able to kill a Maokai. we got to kill Maokai. Alright, just going to attack here. You know, our deck can get a lot of spinning axes, and now we're just turning that into card advantage. I will tend this garden. No, you won't. That is a false statement. The forest. The old room. I think we're going to go with the Bacillus Rider. So that we still have single combat available. The rot must be cut away. I usually hire muscle for this. Got axes, need victims. So this would be them. If they want to block Arena Bookie. Awesome. No, I just don't let them block Arena Bookie. Oh, I need to do that single combat during... 
I need to do that during combat because they're going to play their other um, one drop. We know they have the ephemeral one drop. They're just going to play that. Got to dredge another two. It's Basilisk Rider. Or Basilisk. I don't know. Do you like how we're just turning all of these spinning axes in, into being real cards? That is pretty awesome. Well, so much for that. No single combat, no. Jettison, yep. So we can have Whirling Death take this thing down, or we can have Might. Wait, what are they doing? Huh. Alright, so we're gonna let that happen. We'll give Might to the Dragon so that we have the damage overwhelm. Puts him down to two. My money, my and now we have Leviathan. That's the plan. Leviathan sounds like a pretty good plan. Big ships sink faster. And I think this is going to be a win. Yeah, I really saw the power of Arena Bookie plus Draven that game. That was pretty awesome. Elise Callista, but with Bilgewater. Usually you see this with Freljord. I want to keep all this. I, I, I like the Whirling Deaths to pair with the Draven. Because, of course, the Draven's biggest fan means that we're going to have Draven. I could see Mulliganing the Swain again. Uh, but I'll just keep Swain. Lady Elise, where are you? Now that the new set has been out for a bit, anything that you see that you consider a design mistake? I mean, hush. I consider hush a design mistake. I don't really like spell shield, honestly. Or at least spell shield that continues to um, stay on turn after turn after turn. I wish it was more like barrier, that it was a one turn thing for the units that have Spell Shield. I'm just gonna be going to combat. Watch and learn. Attacking with this, I'm not really exp I mean, they'll probably block with Hapless Aristocrat, I guess. Already amazing. All right, using all of our spells. Hopefully they don't kill my Draven. This will be Draven leveling up. We'll be doing seven damage to that hapless aristocrat. And then seven damage to them. 
But we're spending a let's say we're spending a lot of cards to level up this Draven and do damage to them. So I feel like leveled up Draven's probably gonna be really difficult for them to deal with. Now it has overwhelm, quick attack overwhelm. I wouldn't say control decks are in a bind right now because control decks are the most they're like that's all we've been playing against today is just con control decks they're like the ramp but yeah i mean like again with aurelian soul i mean i think I, re I really just think spell shield should be a one turn thing i don't like spell shield the lasting turn after turn where's my money bookie draven good to Let's talk here. Most likely going to be Culling Striking, one of these two, Elise or Phantom Prankster. Oh, what's that noise? Weak willed fool. The old switcher room. Vision to see what others cannot. I'll take them dead or near enough. Right now, Callista is the only thing that can block Swain. So my plan is to kill Callista with Swain. Gonna ignore this Neverglade Collector, save my Culling Strike for the other Neverglade Collector, the non-ephemeral. Blocks. Axes coming right up. Yeah, it's too bad. Time for the money makers. <clears throat> sure, they gained one life from that, but um, the, the four damage with the overwhelm would have saved more damage. We still have all these spinning axes for Arena Bookie. Find money, my <laughs> Go find more cards. Lovely day for a battle. Silas Grider whiffed. That one's good. Okay. Attack. Attack, 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 attack. I want to get all this attacking in before they play this Neverglade Collector. Start killing all these things. All right, this would put them to eight currently. All right, more spinning axes. Do not want my arena bookie dying. But that's a lot of bodies that just died for them. With never the late collector not being in here, so that's good. Um, 
I think we got a lot of spinning axes now. Why would you play this ephemeral one right now? It's gonna die and do nothing. Get him Leviathan. Draven's pretty good. All right, GG's. We are two and O. Oh. Good. Option for the channel points. And that's like the that's like me reviewing the deck here on stream and stuff like that. All right, we got the Draven's biggest fan, so we can Mulligan Draven, so we can just put Draven on top anyway um and then i'm gonna mulligan these two no i'm gonna keep concerted strike against a deck with like all the their dragons and things like that concerted strike seems like an important thing to be able to take down dragons one star's is another spark god I don't imagine my previous opponent was playing Ruination. And one, and two, I don't think Ruination would have brought them back. Even if they were. We'd still have our multiple Swains and we'd be just fine. Time for the main event. So basically playing this because they have the Messenger. Um, definitely think about just saving the two spell mana for later, but... Yeah, that matches up well against the messenger right there. Hey, kiddo. Dig your kid up. Shape the skies and mold the earth. Alright, here comes the dragons. Concerta Strike's gonna be an important one. But even just like attacking with a quick attack Draven and having Might, that can really help our Draven trade up against a Dragon. The worst case scenario is they play the 4-5 Dragon right now that challenges. The end of this world that card. Near. Because I can't Concerted Strike that one right now. So we have to use Might. Yeah, I mean, we just have to use Might here. If I had one more mana, I could try to hit Allegiance here and then fight. But we gotta just do this. Should I single combat and kill this Herald of Dragons? I'm gonna say no using the single combat on the 1-1. We'll see. Basically, Out. keeping the single combat to try to kill dra try to kill dragons instead of killing the ramp card. I could see this working out, but I could also see this not working out. Even to the young bloods, we are nothing. So I want these to trade on my turn, of course, because of Radiant Guardian. <laughs> Could go Whirling Death also. I won't have Radiant Guardian turned on. I think we're just trusting trying to draw another large unit. Will be served. 19. Cool, that's a great draw. Their plan is the eight mana dragon. We do have Concerted Strike that could take that down. But if they have the eight mana dragon plus single combat, that's where we start talking about problems. 
Strike for justice! Hold back the darkness! No, don't strike that thing. So it's a lot easier if they went to just strike the Radiant Guardian. That's still gonna be pretty easy, I guess. Alright, so Whirling Death that. And now. Oh, no, no, Spell Shield! Mmm. Yeah, basically. Okay, so. I forgot about that Spell Shield. What I need to do is not use the Spinning Axe. And if I don't use the Spinning Axe, then I could go Concerted Strike. No, because in that... Yeah, so I could go Concerted Strike. And... With with Concerted Strike, we would have the Radiant Guardian strike their Radiant Guardian first, and then my 4-5 Dragon strike their Radiant Guardian, so that my 4-5 Dragon would get the kill, and so that it would grow to be a 5-6, and then it wouldn't die to the 5-5 five five Fused Firebrand. That's what I needed to do. But once I use the Spinning Axe on the Radiant Guardian. Now I don't really have that opportunity because I can't have, um, I can't strike with my 4-5 first and kill kill it. Um, and I couldn't couldn't use this on, like I couldn't like single combat and kill their 1-1 because then mine would still die to their 5-5 because five five, um, it would take one damage and grow one so it would cancel out. So once I used that spinning axe, I was just stuck. Hey, TK. Prepare the cargo. There we go. I guess they're just thinking about whether or not to play Aurelian Soul. Hopefully the answer is not. Maybe I need to single combat that 1-1. One, one. The Star Forger himself. You ran. Alright, well we have to just throw away a single combat just to get the spell shield out of there. The other one, um, yeah, those cards are absolutely amazing. One can never have too many dragons. I guess it's better to do this. Yep. Yeah, I, I just wish Spell Shield was just for a turn. You know, I just wish it was like Barrier. I think it's fine and like, I think like the three mana gives something Spell Shield. I think that's completely fine. It's just this thing has just just dominates because I can't can't kill it because I just can't keep on using so many cards just to destroy these spell shields. Prepare the cargo. There is no excess when victory is at stake. Replace themselves. The prophecies ring true. I did do pretty good the one time I played Encroaching Shadow so far.
my hand, will not surprise. Grand General! <laughs> So gotta hope they don't have any more single combats or anything like that. I'm using single combat to get rid of the spell shield over whirling death. Keeping the whirling death alive. This works. Down to one. to one <laughs> all right gonna try whirling death I just don't love my chances of, of winning a game that goes that long awesome oh wait that still goes to one? Oh, right that doesn't, that thing was gonna just die anyway. Well, all right, whatever. Uh, hopefully Leviathan stays alive. <laughs> Guess that was a waste of a whirling death. All right, because that thing was just dying to the Swain anyway. My bad. GG's. I'm pretty surprised we won that one. Remember this day. Not gonna lie, I'm very surprised we won that game. That was a nice win. That was that was one for a long time. I didn't think we were winning. Frostbite. Uh oh. Nobody plays Frostbite anymore. They're not supposed to. Frostbite is very good against single combat, concerted strike, whirling death, all of the cards we're playing. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, we're keeping like a one, a three, a five. Um, I am just keeping Leviathan because of how good this card is. And, you know, we already have like some pretty good stuff early on anyway. I feel like we're going to be able to draw cards and finish out our curve. This would hurt me if we would just suddenly draw like our other Leviathans and, and you know, we just don't have things to do early on. Um, but we already have a one drop. We have a three drop because the Draven, because we know, we know we're drawing Draven. And then that's a good strong five mana card also. So draw some, draw some spells to kind of go around. And there we go. Welcome. Leaping into action. Uh, does he do this? <laughs> I 
I love trading my 2-1. Oh, no, I didn't mean to pass. I went to play Draven. Whoops. I was trying to say I love playing my... Love trading my 2-1 for Elixir of Iron. The party has arrived. Ancient things trapped in the ice. Stay back. the screeching dragon. Our banner will lead the way. So we can trade. Use spinning axes, make screeching dragon a five five. Trade it there five five. No. I don't think trading whenever you have Concerted Strike really makes any sense. Got access, need victims. I guess Harsh Winds. <sighs> harsh Winds makes attacking with both a problem. Yeah, Harsh Winds makes attacking with both a, a real problem. For you. So we'll just go Arena Bookie, Basilisk Rider, Basilisk Rider, however you want to pronounce that. My money, Bookie. Draven, Bookie will get us some more cards. Bookie's been pretty good. Whoops. No allegiance. My money, my fools. <laughs> Avarosa, stand together. Twins. We can just do this. Keep making them have more cards. Justice will be served. And I'm glad we didn't attack with both last turn with them having the harsh winds. Feel pretty good about this game. Banish the unworthy. These cards, like, you know, we're just sitting with a bunch of concerted strikes. I like it. I like how Arena Bookie keeps turning on, keeps turning these spinning axes into other awesome cards. We don't need to worry about uh, Harsh Winds plus Reckoning. Heck, we don't even have to worry about Reckoning at all. Um, yeah, they can have this plus Culling Strike, but... Oh well. They're going to be able to do that anyway. <clears throat> My aim is true! I will unite the Freljord. We're doing pretty good here. Uh! 
That was about as good as it could go for them, and we're still doing just fine, I think. Okay, so that's still gonna frostbite everything. Ten mana. So we have like concerted strike, single combat, and a might or whirling death. Oh no no no! Oh no! Okay, good. Okay, good. My spinning axe. My Draven did still strike down. Okay, good. I want to make sure that happened. The War Mother will unite us all. An eight eight. Um. By my hand will Noxus rise. These old eyes still see far and clear. My arrow won't miss. You dare oppose Noxus. At twenty. Stay back. Hope burns on. My money, my fools. <laughs> okay. Okay. You get this Draven to keep on striking. Otherwise, we're going to be discarding single combat. Let's boogie. Ready the torches. Oh, I love that. I was just kind of resigned to the fact that my Draven was going to have to die. To call themselves Trifarian. But now it doesn't. Out with the old. How many cards do we have left? Nineteen? They also have nineteen? To no one. Still have harsh winds. Harsh winds is where we're, we will get in trouble. Two, two, every single at the beginning of the round I discard my lowest cost card and I draw a new card and so we we just keep on discarding our spinning axes and drawing new cards by car, but it's just so likely that they do.
charged. Saving Whirling Death. Um, don't know if I actually want to draw another Draven. I want to draw Leviathan. Pulling strikes may just be dead cards by now. Victory requires a sharp blade. I will unite the frail yard. Today, Ash, you'll see true leadership. I thought we were doing good in this game, but the Glory Seeker just got him too far. Too many cards. And it was the... I guess I shouldn't have played the Leviathan when I did, I guess, because, yeah, that, it was, like, that one... Their one removal spell, that one Culling Strike, taking out my Leviathan, that's the most important card to take out. Should have kept playing other stuff. Um, or more removal or things like that. Maybe I should have just had my culling strikes kill like their omen hawks while I could so that like my dragon wouldn't take as much damage. So I need to unload those culling strikes earlier. Well, I didn't think we would be winning the game before and we did and I didn't think that we were going to lose that one and we did. So, you know, it evens out. Another Sejuani deck. At least this one doesn't have all the Frostbite. The other one with all that Frostbite. Frostbite is such a problem for us whenever we're trying to just strike. It's just, just from, you know, gameplay standpoint, that's such a problem. That's all we're trying to do. His strike, and we just saw that, you know, each time they had a, um, a harsh winds, it was devastating. So I feel better about this matchup where they don't have harsh winds. But if they can get leveled up Sejuani and warning shots, that's just as bad. Probably just gonna single combat kill the cutthroat, probably. I'm not sure, we'll kinda see. I'm expecting the 3 3 to challenge. Don't want to yet, because maybe we have the opportunity to play like the Bacillus Crider first and then can single combat and keep Draven alive for a turn. Which could be a pretty big turn. 
if that's the case. Nope. Don't have that opportunity. Um. I don't really need to. Hopefully we get the allegiance. Nothing but Noxian might. Yay. Plan is to have the screeching dragon kill the prowling cutthroat. Teeth big as tombstones. Could kill a gangplank too, with the screeching dragon by using spinning axes. Neither the flames nor the death can claim me. Ride for Noxus! Let's see. Down to seven. I want to use a spinning axe. No. Maybe I'm supposed to use spinning axe, I don't know. Also, thinking if they have Sejuani, I want to have Spinning Axe. Like, whatever they frost by with Sejuani, I want a Spinning Axe with the other one and Concerted Strike and kill Sejuani. Mostly thinking that. Yeah, we're doing pretty good, Grace Claw. Oh, I didn't do that correctly. I didn't have the Screeching Dragon get the Fury. Whoops. Do not want to block with the Rider. Do you want the Rider to be able to overwhelm this next turn. I think we're going to go straight to combat. Run him down! No. This sh Ever should be game. I... Yeah, this should be game. Oh yeah, I guess I should challenge the other way, shouldn't I? Yeah, this is two. Yeah, I, mean, I should have challenged the other way, but it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Because we're just going to single combat these. I'll put them to negative one. Alright, there we go. Go to the blocker. Yeah, so... That's what I was saying how, um, you know, at the beginning of this deck, whenever we played, I, I talked about how I thought that this deck would play better than what it looks as just like whenever you're looking at the deck list, that it's going to play a lot better. That some of these cards, like Whirling Death and then having all these single combats and concerted strikes, um, that they're actually going to play up. Draven was, was really amazing for us. It was just such an all-star in our deck we just consistently had draven on turn three with either having draven or draven's biggest fan and it was always really good those spinning axes were amazing the spinning axes with the bookie were amazing this deck played 
very well. And, uh, you know, we did lose to the, the Frostbite deck. That's that's going to be a problem with, um, you know, single combat concern. You know, like, you need to strike with your units. And so all of our removal being based on that and them just Frostbiting and Harsh Winds, that's, that's a problem. But besides that, I was really impressed with how our deck played and the the power it really had. And even a card like Basilis Grinder, you just have to realize you're not going to always hit the Allegiance. But whenever we do, with this thing being a 5-4 Overwhelm, it real, like this card really played well, the Overwhelm with our cards, as we saw like finishing the, that last game out. And it's important having a 4-mana card. Um, yeah, so like you, you need something on the 4-mana slot. And, uh, you know, while it could be like Grizzled Ranger, I was, ha I was really happy with this Basilisk Rider and the Overwhelm with it. So, yeah, this, this deck just played, it plays better than what, like, it, it kind of looks. I like it. Um, yeah, uh, let's see. Yeah, crowd, yeah, crowd favorites, not, like, this is not really a crowd favorite deck. We're not going wide enough for crowd favorites in this deck. Um, but, uh, yeah, there we go. So if you like striking, you like being in combat, you like your combat tricks, you like large units that are being a removal. Try out this Draven Swain. I mean, that, that match against Aurelian Soul was really impressive, us winning that game. That was one that I did not think we were going to be winning, but we did. Um, and just try to dodge Frostbite. There's really not that much Frostbite running around right now, so just dodge those, and you'll be good to go. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Draven Swain, and I'll see you for the next video.